Whenever I think about what AI tutorials I can do, I think about the options I have. What about poses? No, done it. Consistent faces? Done that too. But one thought keeps coming back to me. What if I could control light? No, that's not possible. Wait, now I can. So today we're looking at I See Light by Leasville. What he's been doing is, is created this model that can relight any image. So in this example here, we have a picture of this woman. We have a lighting preference down here, which says left light. And then it gets this light on the left side. And this one here, we have a right light. So it changes from this image to, to the left here, to this right. And it gives us a, a right light now you're not going to be limited by selecting as you can see here left right top bottom whatever because we're going to be taking this and uh, expanding it with workflows made by Kijai. so you're going to be able to see much more options for this here's another example setting right light on, on this woman here and this is very cool this is a shadow from window coming from the left here so it's basically taking an input image so this is not something that you're rendering or generating. Well, it can, but it can also take uh, an input image. You can drag and drop a photo, for example, which is uh, very cool. I think this one looks very nice as well. We have a sunset over C and a right light here. But we're not going to be using this because uh, Kijai has been doing native implementation of IC Light into Comfy. You can find all the links in the description below. As you can see in some of the examples here, let's at least zoom in for a bit. And this one here, you can have you have an input image of this Buddha here. You have this input image of, of a scene and then a light, which is the spotlight here. So it adds the light, the spotlight here on the Buddha, and then it kind of merges the two images together. And in this example down here, we have this input image, which is an elderly man, maybe a fisherman, who knows? And then we have this gradient here that goes from orange to black, and it adds that light into the image. And this is, a, it's not just slapping that on like a Photoshop effect. It's actually uh, regenerating uh, the image. So that's what we're gonna look at today. And there's gonna be some cool options for that. There's even a way to do this with animation. So here you can see the light is, is moving around here based on the editor here. But first off, you're gonna be wanting to load Comfy. You don't know how to, you can find install guides on my channel. Then you're gonna download one of the workflows. Again, find them in the description but it's basically just taking one of these images. So let's say that we take this image, for example, and we drag and drop that in there. We're gonna get a lot of red nodes, and that just basically means you need to go into the manager and you need to install missing custom nodes. And we are installing here IC Lite. It should be fairly quick. Then you can uh, press restart and okay and once this has restarted you just need to click the refresh button if you still see the red notes so you can either press ctrl r or command r depending on your os or click the reload button you're gonna go into your manager install models we're gonna search up here i see light then you're gonna have three to choose from so you have the fc the fbc and fcon now stay with me if you just want it easy Download the first and the second ones, and then, you know, skip forward a few seconds. But if you don't know what's going on, so the first one, it's the default relighting model, and that is conditioned on text and foreground. And what does that mean? Yeah, so if you look at this example here, you have an image and uh, the output, and the output is based on the text prompt and the image and when i say image i mean the foreground image so there is no background image that we're using here for the other model that says relighting model condition with text foreground and background that's what this is so you have a foreground image here and you have a background image here and together with a prompt it merges that together so the first model is doing this but without this uh, added background as you can see the same one here, we have the angel uh, in front of the, the city street here, and that kind of merges it together and keeps going here like that. And the last one is uh, is the same as the default model, but it's trained with offset noise. And it says in the GitHub comments here, 
same as uh, the default model but train with offset noise note that the default model outperformed this model slightly in a user study and this is the reason why the default model is the model without offset noise so unless you do know that you want offset noise just ignore this just get the first one and the second one and if you just want one of them well you can get uh, the first one it's just you need the second one if you want to know that you're going to add a separate background in so once you press uh, install you're going to see in your terminal that uh, you're starting to uh, download the model so just wait for that it's about 1.7 gigabytes for each of the models and once that's downloaded you can just press the refresh button down here now load the model when you want to use i'm using um, epic realism here your ic light goes into this one it should be preset depending on the workflow just remember that the fb one is the background and the fc is, is the default one but it should be preloaded in the workflows that you've selected now let's take an image i have on my desktop so i'm loading this image of this woman here we have the default settings so we have a positive prompt which is spotlight we have a negative prompt which is bad quality and what's gonna happen here now is we're gonna generate with the uh, Euler for 25 steps at a 0.9 denoise which is gonna change a lot of the image and how you control the spotlight here now is uh, with this shape mask so we have selected here now a, a circle and we have a location x and location y so if we generate this you can see the preview here we just generate so here's our circle and you will be able to see the left of our image here you will see the light is coming in on our face there and if we change this so let's say the location x of so x is the horizontal axis and y is the vertical axis so let's say we set this to 256 which is a half of it you're going to see it in the middle here now and now we're lighting the middle of the face here we can uh, make it bigger or smaller so here's the width and height of this so let's lower the height and make this perfectly round now we're getting uh, just a small little dot here so it didn't do very much let's try this in a triangle instead let's move it to uh, the end of the image so about like that let's see what happens oh that barely did anything we kind of broke that we just got a little triangle in the corner so our image is very very dark so let's try again let's move it just back a little bit so we got a little triangle of light there now as you can see we're not getting a perfect triangle on our subject and that's because it's it's trying to like imagine that there is some light coming there but it's not just you know a blotch of triangle like a photoshop filter or an overlay so that's not really what we're doing here let's try one else let's try a square and let's uh, again let's reshape this move it back to the left side and up a little bit and now we get this uh, beautiful light here so i think this is a really really cool and really powerful as you can see we're retaining a lot of the initial image now it's not 100 percent and because everything needs to change a little bit after uh, re-rendering this or regenerating this but i think it's it's very very cool now this is just one of the workflows i'll show you uh, another one in a second i'm just gonna try a different light here so we're gonna try neon pink blue disco light and now we're getting that same position here but we're getting a different kind of light so we can easily control where the light is coming from and how it is looking and uh, let's see there maybe it's even a uh, strong sun yeah that's basically what we had before so try something else um, blue sci-fi light inside spaceship and now we're getting that uh, blue sci-fi-esque light coming from well something inside of a spaceship i guess so i think this is really really powerful really cool Let's load uh, one of the other workflows. We had a missing node, so we're gonna go in and install that one. We're again restarting, and we are again reloading. So let's take another image. Let's take uh, this image of me here. Beautiful looking dude. And then we're gonna take uh, just something random I have on my desktop. Let's see. We're gonna take this uh, pixel art kind of image here. I'm just gonna remove that in the prompt. I don't have this embedding so i'm just gonna remove that too and again change it to epic realism i don't have the photo model and now you're gonna make sure that you're using the fb 
C model. Now, if you are getting an error when you are uh, generating, make sure that you don't have a red or purple outline on the model loading nodes. Then you need to go in, click this and uh, select them. Now let's just generate, see what happens. Kind of cut us out here from the background. Even got my uh, amazing headrest here. It's the same model that Stephen Hawking had. And then it's uh, similar to our previous workflow. It creates a little circle here. We can do that from the, the shape mask here. It puts me into this amazingly beautiful scene. It, it gets a little wonky because all the sizes are, are weird, but you can, you get the point of what's going on. You can probably uh, find a better input and uh, output for this. As you can see, my image here is, um, is a little taller and this image is uh, square. So it gets um, all weird here when it mixes it up. But again, super powerful. And I especially liked uh, just this simple workflow of inputting any image. Oh, here we go. Here I had the, the red one. So if you're just loading the workflow and you're getting this. You need to select a model in here too, because the, the workflow creator has them stored on a different place or they're named something different. There we have it. Total light control in Stable Fusion. Now I did a lighting control video uh, a while back, well, many months back, uh, but that was a little different. This is a whole model made for lighting. So very cool. So I came home the other day and I was absolutely delighted to see that all my lamps had been stolen. Get it? D-lighted? <laughs>